Hi there, in this video I'm going to very quickly uh, give a, a good quick overview of Survey123 and um, uh, just go through the steps to create a survey, a uh, basic survey and uh, then show it on the device and then I'll be um, in other videos just showing you how to read that data from collected by the forms. So when you, you log into Arches Online and you have a Survey123 uh, icon under the um, sort of apps button there. So go into that. Okay, so um, if you've got any surveys, they'll appear here, um, but go to create new survey. Now you can, you can create these surveys in two ways. You can use a web designer, um, uh, which, I'm, which is what I'm gonna be doing here, just very quickly, but also you can create, um, use an XLS forms in, in Excel and that sort of defines the input, um, uh, sort of, uh, the, the fields, etc., uh, that go into the form. So you can author it through through that method. Um, but in this video, I'm sticking solely with the web designer. So let's get started. So what's the name of my survey? It's test um, tutorial. Uh, use tag. Just put test in there because then usually I'll sort of delete anything with testing. Uh, summary, just a test. Well, let's do just a little tutorial. Great. So you create the survey. So we're in ArcGIS Online. So you need the ArcGIS Online account. That's the that's the key thing here. And then it creates. And here you have, as you can see, almost immediately you can see, oh, okay, you just drag and drop, basically. That's exactly what you do. So all, all, all you're doing, that's all we're going to do here is a quick demo. Lots of different options to put things in. We can drop an image in, we can put a map in, obviously. But it's important to note that Survey123 is very form-centric. And you see how map is just one small aspect of all these um, possibilities, all these options. The, 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 the point being that the collector tool is more on you know, collecting actual uh, geometry so much whereas this is uh, very rapid filling in a form and then by the way I can show you your current position or you can click on the map to show where the um, item is that you're collecting data about. So that's why you know this, this why it's, it's survey one two three it's 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 just a um, so it's based on this form. So let's put a um, what should we do we'll do a uh, um, uh, put a map in anyway so um, that's one of our options and here we can say what kind of uh, geometry we're collecting so the, the form data that we're filling in is about a point or a line or an area and uh, and you can set various um, map bases and extents, etc., etc. I won't, I won't bother with that for the moment. Um, and then you'll see on title question one, and then we can say um, bomb up. Um, but obviously, you can do what you want. And some instructions about how to fill in the um, the, the, the form. You can also force validation. So let's just go back to let's um, go back to add, and let's add a. Uh, we will add a single choice. We can drag it in to the top there. So it's it's got three options there by default, um, uh, and we can add a lot more by pressing the plus sign, or we can just take one of them away. So it's one or the other. So am I entitled? Question two. Please choose one from below. And that's just it's either choice one or choice two and we can um what we click here is the default so default is choice one or default is choice two so and like i said we could press plus and add lots of lots of choices i'll just have two there for simplicity so we've got this map and we've got this please this uh, radio button form it's either one or the other we can slightly rearrange how those look by clicking on vertical i'm not going to go too much into all these there's lots of settings and aspects on appearance i'm not going to go into those for the moment um and then there's there's sort of other 
um, options. The image could, could force a, uh, a photo to be taken. So um, we could stick that in there. And then uh, uh, photo needed. I'm not going to make it. Uh, see how you can make it re require a question. And then it puts a red star there. So this means that you have to take a photo or you have to select an image that's already on your mobile device. That's what that does. And then that is t t for camera. But now the red star's there, you have to answer that question. So I'm gonna untick that actually, I'm not gonna bother. But notice how we could um, force a number of photos. So you could have, a, you, you need at least five photos there, um, which is quite, um, sorry, slightly different. Um, you can set a minimum maximum number of images um, so uh, rather than specific so that so there I said if it's five you upload five all right or in the minimum maximum you say I need at least one maximum of five that sort of thing so it changes that one to five okay so I'll um, not fussed about the image count um, so um, so that's my photo of needed what else could, what else could we um, stick stick on here. There's drop down maybe. Um, and these you see these options here. Drop down options. And um, the, these are the options that will drop down in that list. So um, we'll make option one the um, top one. I don't know. This is this is a car. This is a bus. Okay, something to do with transport. Here, let's change this. Transport options. So um, uh, that's sort of, again, um, you can force require a question, but actually that kind of is anyway, because it's a radio option and I've defaulted it. If I didn't default, um, then, uh, and you see I clicked, this is a required question, it has a red star again. Uh, it, it would force me to, I must answer this question. Um, but by selecting a default, obviously, it's going to be answered anyway. Um, so there we go. So other other sort of options here, um, very quickly, uh, when, when you have these on this edit bit particular, there's things like autocomplete, um, where you have something to type and it'll just um, fill it in automatically, you know, the usual. Uh, you can have signature and uh, et cetera, et cetera, and, and, and a sort of few other um, bits and pieces. So um, that's the that's the sort of simplicity of, of putting it together. Let's save this actually. So that's saved. Um, so this is form saved. It's not doing particularly much. Um, and then the other options at the top again very quickly. Uh, it's not it's not published to what, except at the moment. So a, a few options aren't available. Again, we can't analyze. Uh, what's going on because it's not published there's not data coming through yet and all these options well most of them anyway until you get to settings um, won't actually do anything until it's out there and collecting data effectively because you've just got a design mode um, effectively back in overview um, sorry in design it's just in design it's got a red dot there saying it has not yet been published so but back in settings you can um, force it to use a particular version um, and there's a couple of other things like you may have noticed webhooks and we'll, we'll show that in another video it's very powerful so let's publish um, so so the, 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 the this message is just about the schema really let's, let's have a quick look again we'll cover this um, in another uh, video but basically what it's done what it's doing for you is going to create uh, a, a features, feature service for you, because that's what gets published along with the form for you for the end user to populate. So it's just giving you, it's telling you what it's going to call these fields. You see, it's going to call, um, for example, these options here. That's a field type string, and and in it's called. Please choose one from below, um, which isn't a very good name. Um, transport options that's not a bad name I'll probably leave that one uh, and it's just got the text underneath so this text car bus motorbike will be stored in this field that's what that's talking about and the map depending on whether it's a point or, or, or line or whatever 
that I'm collecting, uh, the, geom really, the geometry will obviously go in fill type geometry. So that's that's what that is, and um, it'd be good to, ideally you should tidy up those field names really, um, but I'm, I'm just leaving all these as very, um, very high level, and, and really just to show you um, how to get cracking. It's very easy uh, to use this system. You can do quite sophisticated forms, uh, image maps on there at the moment. So you could have a picture of a car and then click on a particular aspect of the car, the, the front bumper or whatever I think the um, demo video is on the Esri website. And, and then the form pops up for a front bumper. Um, so that's pretty, pretty good. So this is being published. It just tells you I don't wanna um, do that. Um, I don't wanna show that message again. And um, right, so let's just um, uh, go now to the device. So if you go to Google Play or um, the Apple's um, App Store, whatever it's called now, I, I don't remember, um, uh, you can find ArcGIS Survey 123 and install it here. So you can see I've got, uh, I've actually got it already installed. So um, it says uninstall or open. So let's just open it. So I just one, two, three, it comes, it's a free tool. It comes down from the, the store. Um, and then location inaccessible. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Um, I'll show it without location because I've um, actually turned off location. Um, now, if we now go to um, our login, so if I clicked on my name um, for uh, this, that top right, um, you can see download surveys. So it's com been communicated to me that there's a new survey. So I'll download surveys. And there you can see at the top there, test tutorial. So I'll click on that. It's now downloading test tutorial. Let's go back and you'll see test tutorial in my op available um, surveys. So I click on test tutorial and it says, what do you want to do? Well, I want to collect. So I click on collect and now it kicks off. So you can see how um, it's got my form, uh, a photo if needed. So if I clicked on uh, um, the camera, um, let's take a picture of my keyboard, amazing. Uh, you'll see my keyboard then I can delete and whatever. Uh, I can choose one option. You see, it's a radio button on the next icon. What about my transport options? Well, that was a drop down. So I click on that and I'll say bus. Um, what about the map? Well, I've turned my location off. Uh, that's what it, and, and, and I'd have to turn that back on to show where I am. Or I can press the map button and I can, and I can zoom in. And I can say, well, actually, so I'm going to manually rather than, you, you know, we know we've seen in Google Maps and etc. Yeah, find your location. So I'll say that's where I am. Mm. Click the tick. So I've got it. And you see, it puts a nice little map there with a pin. Um, now, if I press the um, tick button, the bottom right, it says we can save an outbox. Um, because you might not actually be in coverage or, or whatever, you may want to revisit it because you can edit these forms. Um, continuous current one, make continuous change, or just send, let's send. So there it goes. And it's sending and uploaded the JPEG picture. So you see how it now has says sent and there's one. So there's one form being sent. So if I click on that, um, you can actually see what the data is um, that, that was um, sent through and um, you can click on the map and see uh, on the map icon see what area of the world it was and you can view the survey that was sent so that was the data that was sent so when, I, when we go um, back to um, the Argus online interface survey one two three you can now see that when I click on overview uh, because the survey has been published and and something's been entered you can see that um, you can see that there's a one count of one entered and um, there's a date uh, total number of records total number of participants if I click on it it'll then show so that that was the 
location I chose, which is in Spain, sunny Spain. Although it's pretty, pretty hot here in the UK, actually. Um, so there's my my map. There's my point. You can see the record here. There's transport options, bus, uh, choice one. But when when we're actually in this view um, of which is the data tab up here, when we're in this view, you can uh, click and um, he says, yeah, there you go. And you can edit and check, you know, change the data. Uh, and when I double click as well, it shows me the um, record details here. So there's my photo. Um, Click on a photo and it's zooming. He's a, he's a hoovering that keyboard, um, and uh, it's got all it's got the details of the device there, etc. Anyway, so so this is all the um, information that's come that's come back. Um, you can just get rid of that window, change it a bit, and uh, we can have a obviously because it's Arches Online, we can um, you know change the imagery. For our data so all your form uh, data all the submitted data will, will appear in a, in a in a list here and um, uh, you can click and jump around and etc so if you go to the plus on the right hand side here as well you can add a couple of other forms um, so obviously I only had please choose one from below which is the name of my field which is a terrible name but uh, and transport options, but you might want to say, well, what what about the um, creation date of that record? So it adds the creation date because that's a um, a default field it captures, and uh, in it goes there. So there's a filter button, so you can um, filter. So transport options is car, and then apply, and of course it goes no data. Transport options is bus apply and zoom to and there it is so it's now gone straight to that one so you can see there's a nice little filtering capability there uh, and like and you can export shape file etc etc or csv and you can open normal map viewer i hope that's useful thank you